Dubai Shabandar here in the studio. Thanks for coming in. So we're at this standoff now with the U.S. saying cancel this purchase or we're going to enact sanctions and Turkey saying no, the purchase is complete. So if the issue is that having the S-400 missile system here in Turkey somehow threatens U.S. security by making it vulnerable to espionage, why won't the U.S. just send the team of experts over that Turkey has suggested? Because really, Ubay, if it threatens U.S. security, it will threaten Turkish security as well. Well, it's become a very complicated uh, obstacle in the strategic mm -hmm. partnership between the U.S. and Turkey. Certainly, there's no question if Turkey is removed from the F-35 program, which, remember, is a NATO program. Turkey was a part of the production line of the F-35. So if that happens and Turkey is removed, it could certainly signal perhaps the biggest strategic rupture in that partnership in recent memory. Of course, Turkey is a, is a contributor to NATO. Uh, Turkey's uh, military officers work closely with NATO uh, throughout, throughout NATO's activities and training forces. So now we have to look at what's going to happen next. Right now, it's a matter of two things. One, what will President Trump do and what will the U.S. Congress mm -hmm. do? We know there has been some discussions um, on the leadership to leadership level between President Erdogan and President Trump, but also Congress is coming in and saying they're going to enact heavy sanctions on Turkey once the S-400 is delivered. We've heard, of course, from Ankara saying that that deal is a done deal. Turkey has come back to the U.S. and said that we can negotiate. Let's work a technical uh, workaround or what the, what's called an off-ramp, basically a compromise, a technical compromise where the S-400 would be essentially fired off from the electronic signature of the F-35. Of course, the major concern by the U.S. and NATO is a matter of interoperability, since the S-400 is a Russian system, and NATO systems are essentially geared toward, to protect Europe against Russia, big complicating factor, and worries that the S-400, which is essentially an advanced computer, could be used by the Russians to collect sensitive data on the F-35, which currently stands as the most advanced, and certainly the most expensive fighter aircraft in the world. And, Ubay, I mean, as this NATO meeting kicks off uh, in Brussels, we were actually hearing from, from Simon McGregor Wood there that this crucial issue isn't really top of the agenda. In fact, the representatives of Turkey and the United States attending will only be meeting on the sidelines. Uh, why do you think that is? Well, we have to look at essentially what will happen next with the confirmation process of the new acting Secretary of Defense. Mm -hmm. The former acting Secretary of Defense, Pat Shanahan, had to step down. Now we have to go through that process yet again. So that's going to delay Washington's response to Turkey's request for a compromise and a technical off-ramp on the F-35. Certainly there's, uh, no, uh, there's no appetite in Ankara for a rupture in the strategic partnership between the two countries and for Turkey's continue, continued role in NATO. So there is still some hope that some sort of compromise can be found, certainly with the S-400 scheduled for delivery. Also, of course, the, uh, the United States has stopped all training for Turkish pilots uh, who are currently in Luke Air Force Base in Arizona being trained on the F-35. So we have to look to see how, what happens there. They're expected to be uh, expelled from the country in the coming weeks if no compromise is found. Okay. Ubay, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much, as always, for coming in.